Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Lewis Rossman, and I do motherboard repair. And from time to time, every now and then, I may cover the screwed up New York City real estate market. And I did a little bit more of that just today. Is New York City real estate more honest post-pandemic? And well, you can look at that video to get an idea if they've learned how to use a measuring tape better in 2021 than in 2019. This is an even more interesting thing. I really thought this was a meme when someone first sent this to me. This is Operation Room Service. So it looks like New York City police officers found that vans were being used for Airbnb rentals. So you were not renting a hotel, you were not renting a house, you were not renting an apartment. They were actually parking vans on the street and then attempting to utilize these vans for people to stay in. In a city that has over 100,000 vacant apartments, Vacant storefronts as far as the eye can see. Vacant office space everywhere. The best that we can do is try and utilize illegal vans as Airbnbs. Now, obviously, you can say the person who tried to do this would have probably tried to do something illegal anyway. For sure. Definitely. But the fact that there's even demand for this demonstrates how insane it is. You have a city that has hundreds of thousands of apartments, offices, hotel rooms, everything else vacant. But because they want insane amounts of money for everything, you have all the space that could be used for something productive, but there is an actual market demand for people to rent Airbnbs that are actually vans on the street. The thing that's insane to me is not that someone tried to do this. What's insane is that there are people who would actually think this is a good deal and go for it because there's, they had no better option available. So it says here authorities in Manhattan impounded seven vans over the course of the two days. They say they were illegally registered and used as Airbnb rentals on city streets. Coins Operation Room Service, deputies from the sheriff's office in partnership with the NYPD, busted more than half a dozen vehicles Thursday and Friday. Sheriff Joseph Fusito told NBC New York that investigators discovered the park vans on streets throughout Chelsea and the East Village, my old store neighborhood, were being used as rentals for Airbnb. According to the rent records shared by Visito's office, all seven of the vans had license, New Jersey license plates. Okay, this is killing me. License, New Jersey license plates. It's license ones. And NBC, seven van. It's vans. Vans. My God, I spell checked the description of my YouTube videos better than this news company. Registrations for three of the vans had expired more than four years, while three others had plates belonging to other vehicles. The seventh van wasn't registered. Five of the vans were picked up and impounded from the East Village, while the other two were spotted in Chelsea. Facito said the office's investigation included a YouTuber's review of allegedly renting out one of the vans in the East Village. This is, this is funny. And some of the, the co- interesting comments, where would I do number one or number two spending the night in the van? Times Square, like all the other people that are out at one or two in the morning there. Uh, this is, this is interesting. This is, this is sad. This is so sad. Like it's, it's not even that somebody thought to do this. That's sad. It's sad that it would be one thing if every space in New York city were fully occupied to have the occupancy rate that we do for apartment buildings, for offices, for hotels, to have so much empty, vacant space, and for there to still be a demand for Airbnb being a van on the street. That's some dystopian shit. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. And also, we'd highly appreciate some of your reviews, comments, suggestions, ideas, questions, and feedback on Rossman Realty Season 3. It's coming, folks. It's coming. See you all in the next video. Bye now.